you want to put it one way, the 220-year-old Coast Guard reached headliner status for tragic reasons and heroic response when they saved over 33,000 people in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Many of those Coasties matriculated from the Coast Guard Academy right here in New London. You probably drive by the lovely campus all the time. But have you ever actually been inside? You know, it's the 100th anniversary of the United States Coast Guard Academy here in New London. And as part of our uh, behind the scenes series, we thought it might be pretty cool to come and see some of the places on the campus that most folks don't ordinarily get to see. At the same time, when we were figuring this story out, we didn't even realize that this is an open campus. Now, you can't go to some of these places like we're going to go, but basically any citizen that wants to can come aboard and check out the Coast Guard Academy. My tour guides were Rear Admiral J. Scott Burho, the Academy Superintendent, and Jake Hauser, the cadet whose grasp of Coast Guard minutia made him a terrific Lewis to the Admiral's Clark. The Henricks Room, site of ceremonial gatherings, among other things, is most notable for the astounding mural in the round, fusing striking images of signature moments in the Coast Guard's history. And also, curiously enough, the painter's handprint. There's a lot of legend concerning that handprint. Uh, some say it was just his way of giving a special signature on his work, but his name appears over there. So a lot of people would also tell the tale, and I like to pass this along, that this was a, uh, a Civil Conservation Corps project from the 1930s during the Great Depression era. There were some issues with the contract, and he was either paid later or not paid enough as per his agreement, so he stuck it to us. He ruined the mural with that handprint, sir. See, I think it looks a lot like a bear paw to me. <laughs> it does look, Doesn't like, it look like a bear paw. That's what I'm thinking. He had a yeah. very odd palm. No visit to the academy is complete without paying one's respects at the crypt of Hopley Yeaton. Hopley was commissioned by George Washington as the first officer in the Revenue Cutter Service, which became the Coast Guard. Of course, it is a grave, and so cadets over the years have developed a time-honored midnight ritual. Well, at this crypt you have the Square Root Club. The club gets its name from cadets who are struggling in their academics and end up with a, uh, with a GPA that's below 1.0, which here is, is not too hard to do. There's forces greater than we at work, so we like to honor them. We come up here and we'll take our dividers, which is a tool for, uh, for measuring distances on a nautical chart very precisely, and we sharpen them. The mathematical reason, the Square Root Club, I should have mentioned, uh, the square root of a number that's less than one is greater than that number. So if your GPA gets to be so low that the square root is higher, you're in the square root club. But you it's quite an already, honor. You probably already knew that, though. Hard to the crypt is the chapel, noted for its all-or-welcome policy concerning the religious beliefs of the cadets, and also, of course, for its towering and pristine spire and the blinking light at the top of it. Well, at the very top of the spire, the light will signal the Morse code letter Alpha. Some say that the A symbolizes Academy. One of the things I say is that it signifies the Morse code letter Alpha because that signifies the beginning of the alphabet, which is really what this is for the young cadets uh, who are here, the young men and women that are here. It signifies the very beginning of their career in the Coast Guard. Like any kid, I felt a compulsion to climb to the top of the steeple. But propriety would demand that I get permission in a place like this. And who knew how difficult that might be? What if I ask you if you would let me climb up in the steeple? Would you say yes? Oh, I think that'd be terrific. I think you ought to, ought to go up there as, as high as you want to climb. Hmm. No elevator to whisk me to the top. About three more grinders, and I don't think I could get in this thing. Instead, <laughs> a bizarre system of ladders, zigzag corridors, more ladders, and more ladders. Okay, at a certain point when it seems to me I've climbed the equivalent of halfway up Everest, I decide, do I really need to go all the way to the top? We could go higher, but there's no room for Peter to even turn around. And not only that, I have a little problem with heights, and I have a lot more problem with that height. As with any upstanding institution with proud history, there's a fine museum on campus, the exhibits are entertaining, informative, but what about backstage in the archives? Not for public viewing. Back here is an amazing collection of artifacts. Athletic department footballs and basketballs of antiquity. Native American ivory carvings from the Coast Guard's efforts in the Pacific Northwest. A silver collection presented to the Academy from Holocaust survivors. 
Here is a pair of shoes from Ronnie James Dio's onstage wardrobe. <laughs> Actually, they're real, but they're made from reindeer hooves. It was, I guess, just one of the unique things that you picked up as a souvenir of an unusual visit to somewhere. <laughs> and we have a fake bear head because, after all, the proud sports teams of the Academy are the Bears. Can I put it on? No. I'll get my gloves taken away from me if you, I let you put on an artifact. A striking bit of recent history is the actual uniform worn by Thad Allen, the 23rd Commandant of the Coast Guard, while he conducted rescue operations following Katrina. Uh, I sort of had to chase him down for it, and he, has to, he had said at one point that this is the most unusual request he's ever gotten cool. in his career. I was like, excellent. A hundred years on, and the Academy is perhaps, through efforts such as those by Allen and the Coast Guard members on duty after the hurricane, a more sought-after educational destination by ambitious students than ever before. Whether it's Katrina, whether it's uh, our ability to go in and respond to the earthquakes in Haiti, as, as we share with the uh, with every cadet and, and everybody who's new to the Coast Guard, everybody will have the opportunity to respond to something of grand significance because those kinds of events will repeatedly happen in the Coast Guard. My junior year in high school, what's all over the television was Hurricane Katrina. I got to see the Coast Guard do its job best, have fewer resources than the National Guard, even uh, fewer personnel than the New York City Police Force, and do a job that was absolutely fantastic and praised across the nation. That's something I want to be a part of.